Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel again. In the world of war, tanks play a big role, and recently the United States, led by President Joe Biden, has decided to help Ukraine in a big way. They are sending 31 M1A1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine to help them in their fight. Initially, there was talk of sending a different model, the M1A2 Abrams tanks, around January. But plans changed, and by September 19, 2023, the M1A1 Abrams tanks started to be sent as part of a bigger support package to Ukraine. These tanks are not brand new, but they have been refurbished and prepared well before being sent to Ukraine. The M1A1 Abrams tank is a big and strong tank made by a company called General Dynamics. It needs four people to operate, weighs a massive 63 tons and is very long, about 387 inches with its gun forward. It has a height of 93.5 inches at the turret and a width of 144 inches. This tank is powered by a strong engine, the AGT-1500 turbine engine, which gives it a lot of power, about 1500 horsepower. It can move quite fast, with a top speed of 42 miles per hour, and can go from 0 to 20 miles per hour in just 7.2 seconds. It carries a lot of fuel, about 505 gallons, which lets it travel for 265 miles without needing more fuel. The main gun of this tank is a big 120mm cannon, and it also has other guns like a 50 caliber machine gun for the commander, and two 7.62M machine guns, one for the loader and another one as a backup. There's a special version of this tank called M1A1D. This version has digital tools that help the tank commander to control and communicate better. It's like having a better control panel and computer screen in the tank to manage things better. The design of the M1A1 tank is such that it can adapt well to different battle situations. It has been upgraded to work well especially in city areas where fighting can be very tough. These upgrades help the tank to face new kinds of threats in modern warfare. Now, when we compare the M1A1 Abrams tanks with Russian tanks like the T-72, T-90, and T-14 Armada, we see a story of military progress. The T-14 Armada has a more powerful engine compared to the Abrams tank, but the M1 Abrams is known for its agility and strong firepower. Both the M1A1 Abrams and T-72 tanks have a 7.62M machine gun, and the T-72 also has a big 125M smoothbore gun. The T-90 tank has been upgraded to the T-90M variant which now has better sights, better armor, and a new machine gun system, much like the upgraded version of the M1A1, the M1A2 SEP V3 Abrams. The arrival of these tanks in Ukraine is expected to change the military fight significantly. The main goal is to help Ukraine take back lost lands and advance military operations towards the south, targeting Russian-controlled cities. The Russian forces might now feel threatened with the introduction of advanced Abrams tanks. Some of these tanks have special devices called Far Target Locators FTL that can find the GPS coordinates of a target up to 8,000 meters away helping in precise firing on the battlefield. On the bigger picture, this move by the US shows a big change in international support for Ukraine against Russian aggression. It's part of a larger effort by NATO countries to support Ukraine and deter further advances by Russia. The quick action by the US in sending these refurbished tanks shows the urgency in helping Ukraine's defense capabilities during this tense time. In conclusion, the M1A1 Abrams tanks are a big step towards helping Ukraine in its military fight against Russian forces. By helping to take back lands, advancing military operations, and providing better targeting capabilities, these modern tanks are ready to play a key role in Ukraine's ongoing fight against Russian aggression. So, today we've delved into the US's significant move of deploying M1A1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine, and also its capabilities against Russian tanks. Now, we'd love to hear your take on this. Drop a comment below sharing your thoughts. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more such information. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.